For over a year now, I wanted to make a Frank Ocean video. I try to dissect the way he writes a song, how he tells a story, and many similar ideas with no luck. Instead, I will just touch upon some of my favorite Frank Ocean songs and the reason they are my favorites. I have always felt that Frank Ocean makes music that you need to feel. Frank Ocean makes you feel what he's feeling in his music. He has an aptitude for painting vivid pictures. His songs provide you with either a place, a time period, a location, for you to feel exactly what he or what the individual in his story is feeling. At the base of all of his songs, they tell a story. As demonstrated through his various references, Ocean seems to love film. Through his mentions of several classic films and directors, whether it be Kubrick or Forrest Gump, this is also backed by him sharing a list of his favorite films in the Boys Don't Cry magazine. Whether it be a feeling of nostalgia, being poolside at a late party, or the booming atmosphere of a club, Frank Ocean makes you feel what he's feeling, even if you've never experienced it yourself. I picked up on Frank Ocean a little late. In between Channel Orange and Blonde, I first heard a silky smooth voice that was of course pleasing, but when Crack Rock got to the bridge and near the outro of the song, and began to make a commentary on the state of the world and society. That contradicted his sound. As I listened to more songs by him, I began to grasp Frank Ocean's versatility. And I put this song immediately as one of my favorites. Because the song is so soothing, but is contrasted by a serious message. The second song I want to look at is Sierra Leone. Now this song was less about the message and more about Ocean's singing ability and the way this song sounded. While the song is about how he fooled around in his youth while making several sexual and mature references, the only fitting words I have about Sierra Leone are that it sounds beautiful with its well-placed harmonies and the second half of the song is simply mesmerizing. Finally, on Channel Orange, the last song I want to look at is Monks. At first listen, the immediate reaction to Monks was the instrumentation. The drums are what stands out alongside the cymbals. Monks has funk at its core. Monks begins with Frank Ocean talking about an African girl with a British accent and by verse 2 it focuses on an Indian girl who sleeps above the temple. And as she and Frank Ocean escape not only her home, but what he describes as her father's army and the archers of said army, they still manage to escape. This song almost feels like a break or an interlude in the Channel Orange story. But its mysteriousness, dreamlike and forbidden love story make it one of my favorite. It's a very unique song. We're lost in a jungle underneath these clouds. Moving on to Blonde, the second song of Blonde is Ivy, and it stands easily in my top three Frank Ocean songs ever. The undertones of melancholy, the regretful nature of the song, while it doesn't hit home for me, the sentiments that Frank Ocean was able to relay to me made sense. In the story of Ivy, it's him looking back on his relationship one that both sides have failed. And the very first line, all the way until the end, embodies the stages of said relationship. I thought that I was dreaming when you said you loved me. There were things you didn't need to say. Did you mean to? Mean to? From bliss to pain to heartbreak and finally regret. Moving on immediately after song number three, Pink and White, sonically and emotionally is a welcome change from the somber Ivy. First and foremost, Pink and White makes me feel like during those three minutes and four seconds that everything is okay. The song is the embodiment of a dream. It feels like a dream. Though lyrically, a story of love in the past tense, 
and happiness that had once reached its ultimate peak and can only go downhill. While I would take the time to talk about nights, I will be saving that song for a separate video. And so I will look at Chanel. Chanel is Frank Ocean's single, released in 2017. Chanel is an interesting song because of the duality it carries. Because of the whole premise of the song being based around the Chanel logo that has two interlinked C's. Frank Ocean's inventive wordplay is given room to breathe. Many of the lines have words being repeated or said in two different ways, again playing on that idea. This song ranks as one of my favorite because of the freedom it has of being a single. It doesn't have to fit into any narrative or storyline, and it showcases his ability to seamlessly switch from a rapper-like flow to singing. Treat a nigga like he 12. How you looking up to me and talking down? Can't you see I am the big man? God level, I am the I am. Now film it with the drone cam and the pink like killer. Kill. And before I get to the final song, I want to take the time for a few honorable mentions. The feeling of nostalgia and strawberry swing, the coolness of songs for women, Nova Kane's vivid story. Nostalgia Ultra as a whole is such a unique project that demonstrates his versatility and creative juices. Also Siegfried in its layered narrative, and finally the short but personal good guy. However, the final song that I will mention is Godspeed, song number 16 on Blonde. Godspeed by Frank Ocean is a song of a wholesome and respectful departure from a loved one. I will always love you, how I do. To grant someone Godspeed is to grant safe travels and good luck. Wishing you Godspeed, glory. Sonically, the song delivers in that aspect as well. It is a song that carries finality to it. When I listen to Blonde as a whole and finally reach Godspeed, I feel accomplished. I feel as though I have reached the end. And in an album full of heartbreak, Godspeed is growth, it's maturity. To finally leave said person with only kind words and respect. On their journey, Frank Ocean informs them that there will be times that they will fall and that some things won't be accomplished. There will be mountains that they will not move, but regardless, he will always have love for that person. There will be mountains you won't move. Let me know some of your favorite Frank Ocean songs and why.